Hello my friends, John here. Uh, welcome to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd be honored to see you again. Okay, so let's get into it. You know, um, this has come to me so many times that, that I feel like I just need to share this. Somebody somebody really needs to just, you know, be reminded this. We all have to re be reminded, you know, notice we don't get an instruction to, to get in the word once and then be done with it. Just like we take a bath more than once, you know, we always got to feed ourselves, you know, with, with, with the word. So it's in Isaiah, you know, the, you probably know the scripture. God basically says, you know, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. And, you know, there's the other scripture that just comes to me right now uh, about how God will use the foolish things to, to confound the, the, the wise. So I might be talking to somebody now that, that you're, you're, you're in a situation like that. And, you know, I've thought about this, you know, I've shared the deep part of my walk was in 04. So when I think about the last, whatever, 19 years, I'm telling you, I've, <laughs> and I know a lot of people would, would say this too, where you've had instructions from the Lord that you wouldn't even share with, with almost no one. Maybe the one person that you know they're on their own deep walk and, and they'll be like, yeah, I, I understand. But I'm telling you, when, it, when when he says his thoughts are not our thoughts, his way, I mean, somebody needs to, it's more than just saying, okay, yes, Lord, amen, I, I, I get it. But no, really think about this because if, if, if it's not happening now, a day may come that you get an instruction that seems radical. It'd be like, at first, is this even God? So just take it to the Lord when there's something that, that's unique, and, and he, will, uh, he will confirm it. I've always felt like with especially the very significant things, um, you know, God doesn't expect you to do something relating to marriage, you know, without going to him and, and, and getting his counsel or career changes, moves, you know, geographically, different things like that. Um, but but in addition, sometimes there are just things that are very, very odd and very unique. And, and he's a creative God. Um, it's probably safe to say in our lifetime, most of us have been guilty of judging someone else because just the way it looked like, wow, that, that's crazy. Where's God on that one? And, and at the same time, many of us have been judged by others because, you know, the, the people would be saying there's no way that, that God's doing this for you or I. And if God were speaking, uh, you know, verbally he'd be like uh yeah actually it is it's me the lord because you know he just does things differently so just um you know keep that keep that in the back of your mind you know for 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 life and and don't be caught off guard when there's something out of the ordinary because if it if it really seems odd you know I believe if you go to him and say, Lord, I just want to make sure this is this is you I mean my goodness even <laughs> even the Virgin Mary comes to mind. I mean could you imagine who 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 would believe other than the small circle? I mean, an angel had to visit Joseph and, and um, you know, the woman she went to see drawing a blank now on, uh, um, you know, who it is Elizabeth, I believe. Um, you know, most people, though, however, they're going to think, you know, that this this is a woman that, that's just done, done something wrong. But but, you know, and if we didn't know this in hindsight, you know, we, we would be judgmental, too. So that's just a perfect example. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that to share, you know, just even even the way Jesus came came in to, to the earth, you know, as a human being. Um, so that's about it. Let's just praise the Lord, bless his name together, that, that he can he can think of so many more things than we can. I mean, he's the God of all knowledge, and it's it's a good thing. It's a wonderful thing that his thoughts are higher than ours, and, and his ways are higher than ours, because we wouldn't want to just rely on our own selves, you know, not when the, the God of all gods can, you know, tell us things that we don't know. All right, friends, God bless you, and God willing, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.